Tens of thousands of COVID vaccines are being administered daily. Put your finger on the <laughs> Each syringe is only used once and comes with a hoard of disposable single-use plastic. At this vaccination hub, some of it is being collected. The local health body's sustainability officer is keen to clamp down on waste. 70 kilos of those we've captured in four weeks. Out the back, it's piling up. Obviously, COVID's had a um, big impact in terms of our actual medical waste. Um, and, you know, our hospitals have seen a, a high increase of uh, what we've been producing, uh, which is why we've kind of jumped on board to start recycling out of our vaccination centre. OK, let's go. Rodrigo Fritas Lamora is also involved in the syringe recycling program at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. Well, it's widely known. Our waste volumes are a lot. There's a lot of things we cannot reuse. He's dismayed at all of the waste during the pandemic. We've seen a three or four-fold increase in waste, and that's due to multiple factors. It's a lot of PPE, a lot of single-use items. This footage from a nurse on a COVID ward shows how much waste she's generating in just a few hours. It all ends up in bins like these. These yellow bins are chock-a-block full of single-use masks, single-use gowns, all of the sorts of equipment we've been using so much more to deal with this pandemic. This hospital alone has seen a 40% rise in this sort of waste. Each gown or each N95 mask, for example, that we're wearing at the moment is not particularly expensive, but it adds up very quickly when we start thinking even if it's only a few dollars per uh, item. The hospital is also passionate about reusing some items. And found that it actually overall saves about 100,000 bucks a year. The COVID vaccine plastic bits are being sent to this factory. It's turning the medical waste into parts for roller doors and even wind turbines. A one pilot program obviously has cost the company a lot of money, but it's to prove a point and, and to prove that this uh, circular economy can be achieved. The body leading the pilot program agrees. We worked out that with recycling 40 to 60% of clinical plastics, we could generate savings equivalent to hiring 40 new nurses. While syringe caps are just the literal tip of the problem, healthcare workers are embracing the opportunity. Taking that time out of their busy days just to do this additional step is, is great. So um, I applaud them. Tackling two problems at once.